Ma'am, I am so sorry to bother you. I saw you uh, from down there. I was like, uh, let me go talk to her. I'm, I'm giving away this um, iPhone, the newest iPhone, or food. What would you take? Food. You want to take the food? Yeah. Like the iPhone is worth more than a, like a thousand dollar. You can sell it and buy more food. Why? Why would you take the the iPhone? I have a phone already. I'm oh, you do have a phone. Okay, I didn't even see that. Well, do you mind uh, closing this box for me? Yes. And and hold on to it. Yeah, just close it and hold on to it for a second. Mm -hmm. um, can, can I can I sit by you and ask you like a couple questions? Sure. Um, why did you pick the food over iPhone? Because I'm out here right now. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in days. Either. You haven't ate in a couple days. Yeah, I don't. I don't really get food stamps, and I'm out here panhandling right now. Oh, you haven't received your food stamps? No, I don't. I don't even have them. You don't have them, or you used to have them? I used to have them, but I don't get them anymore. Uh, do Do you know what what exactly happened? How did you lose them? Um, it's just hard, like being on the streets is hard to, to you know, be consistently, and, and I kept losing my card and they told me I wasn't, wasn't able to get it anymore. Wow, and if you don't mind me asking, like, how long have you been living on the streets? About four years ago. Four years? Yeah. And do you still remember the reason, like, what happened four years ago? How did you end up on the street? Yeah, um, my mom died and, and I lost my mom's, uh, I lost her and then I lost her house and a whole bunch of stuff. I am so sorry, and... Yeah. What happened to your mom? How did she die? She uh, cardiac arrest. Oh my God, I'm yeah. so, so sorry, you know. I mean, you know, losing a parent, I can, I can understand. Some people can relate to it, but not a lot of people can. Yeah. Um, I lost my dad when I was eight years old. So, I, you know, I grew up with a single mom and I, and I, I know how it feels, you know, being yeah. without the parents, you, you miss them. What can you do? You know, God right. has a better plan right. for us. What can we do about that? Um, so you were with your, mom and she was like literally like she taking care my, of the bills she was like my back home she was my everything and i didn't realize that so she paid the bills yeah, she, she paid. had it was her home mm -hmm. and she you, you didn't have a job back then no so you didn't have a job no and once she passed away you were literally like had no, nowhere to go yeah pretty much what about like your cousins friends anybody did you had anybody to I help you any other family. So mom. you just you and your mom and that's it. You had nobody else. Any well, other siblings? My dad died too, but then then my sister. She lives in, in she lives way too far. She lives in California City. Oh wow. Yeah, she. Has so she lives sister. all the way there. Yeah. So you have one sister, but does she know like you're still living on the street and does she not? No, know? she doesn't actually. Right she doesn't know. No. Wow. Okay. Let let me ask you. If your sister actually see you like this, what would be a message you want to tell? What would you say to your sister? I would just say, you know, I'm sorry, I don't, I, you know, like, times are hard, you know? Sorry, like, I, I don't know hard. what to do, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm what like, else, it's hard. Gonna, what, what else am I supposed to do, you know? Did you, did you not try getting, like, a shelter home or something like that? I tried, but it's just not for me. I mean, I, I, I just, it, felt like, it felt like jail pretty much. Why, why would you say it felt like jail? Like, because they, 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 rule, they make you do, like, you know, like... They have they a lot of rules? Like, yeah, they Like, have a lot come, of rules, come home by 7 o'clock or do this or yeah. do that? Yeah, and I don't stuff like, like that. listening to that. <laughs> oh, wow. No, because it's just hard. It's just too, like, you know, and there's people out here that I know, like, my friends and stuff, you know, and that's what really keeps me here, you know? So, as far as the food-wise, who gives you food? Like, where I, do you I find food? I usually panhandle or, you know, like... Or like, you know, try to ask somebody for money. I don't know. Like. So you go to people and just ask people, can I get some money to buy food or can I get food? Yeah. And, and you know, a girl like you living on the street, how do you feel about that? Because I'm sure there's guys try to take advantage of you, you know, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So oh, what, yeah. what do you want to say about that? Um, that I, I try to ignore it now and I'm already used to it. You know, like I'm used to that the whole guy being pigs. <laughs> I just know not to, I don't, I don't. You, know? you just deny and say no. I just completely and, ignore it. Yeah, no, you just know. ignore it. Like I know like, who not to talk to because you can always tell. You, know? you can you can tell the vibe. Yes, yeah. that's true. That's true. And 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 honestly, I I met a lot of people like living on the street like you. Mm -hmm. um, they're the most nicest people I've ever met. Yes, they are. Uh, did you have the same experience or it was just me? Oh no no no! You're right. No, you're you're very right. So there's Actually, most nicest people and obviously there's good and bad everywhere right the most so, righteous people i've ever met has been on the streets right and and once like you, they they get food right they'll yeah. they love to share it and we're always sticking together all of us stick sticking together, together yeah. as one yeah so nice. that's that that's crazy um yeah. so anybody that's right now you know in a situation where the parents are sick mm -hmm. or even let's say the parents are healthy and they're living with the parents what would be your advice to them my advice to them is to spend as much time as you can with your mom and your dad and you never know you know 
you never know when the, the, the time comes to where you don't have that anymore you know so exactly it, don't take don't take it for granted and, and, and really just spend as much time as you can with them and help your mom and respect her and love her and, you know wow and and you know what time is the only thing in the world that never comes back it does. money can come back things can come back yeah. everything can come back but a person once they're gone and the time they're gone, yeah. they're gone they're gone and then you think about all the times that you could have spent time with them and you didn't and it, and it just it, yeah it, it sucks and i wouldn't want nobody to go through that you know and also for the people that are like depending on the parents let let's say what would be your message to them let's say something happens to their parents you know they can end up in a situation like you right because mm -hmm. you didn't know this was going to happen but it just happened right yeah so what would you say to them like what would be their their mindset what should they do they should try to get on their feet and, and try to do it for themselves be more independent right get yeah, a job definitely. even start with part-time just little little baby steps up. yeah little, little baby things. steps and yeah. see how there goes like start with part-time and if it can convert into a full-time why yeah. not and yeah. god forbid something happens to the parents at least you're not ending up in a situation like her like and, me, and, yeah. and, and you know it's better it's wiser to learn from other people's mistake than you going through that stuff you know yes. so it's, it's it's more smarter and i think a lot of people can actually relate to you and i'm sure a lot of not just in america but in every country every part of the world people yeah. are actually depending on the parents yes which yes. which i think is okay but to a certain to a certain level yeah. right yes because what one day aren't you gonna start your own family aren't you yeah. gonna get married aren't yeah. you gonna have kids right right you, you want to have that mindset and again things happen you didn't think about it i'm not trying to put you down or anything no, I know, I know. saying that hey you know you were dumb or whatever you know to, i didn't to do never this. thought that she would you know pass away like you, you never thought about it right because mm -hmm. anything can happen there, you know? yeah yeah you always thought your mom is gonna be there but just to the people you know that that don't think about those things today is the day to start thinking about those things yes, like yo definitely. something happens to my mom something happens to my dad they can be just driving like right off the street yeah, and there's a truck can, and there's a truck can hit them yes. and they're gone. The next minute they're gone. What are you going to do next, right? Yeah, exactly. You see, and it's like, and your whole life changes in an instant, you know? Right. Or I, I think, or some people that don't want to work or they're lazy or whatever, you know, like be, every, yeah. everybody. Yeah. So I would say at least your parents should buy a life insurance or something. So at least the house can get paid off. Right. And then you're not on the streets. At least they will be able to cover, you know. The, yeah. the cost of the house if they're if they're um you know if they own the house if not i lost my mom's house actually because she she didn't she didn't do a will or nothing and, and um we were almost done paying it off too it was like we were only a couple of payments away from paying it off wow and, and she and she passed away and then they just they wouldn't let me pay on the payments or nothing like that no way because i wasn't on her account and she didn't leave any, anything in writing saying that it was free you know oh my because so it, it just happened you know like you never yeah. thought of it i didn't want to do it i, I kept telling her no no i don't want to tell mom stop talking like that you're not gonna die yeah nothing is gonna happen she's like we need to make a will and i'm like no 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 we don't have to do that you know see and, you should you should have agreed to it because look that could have helped you you know to, to have a shelter that's very true. on your head and you know to have a roof over your head because i never thought that you know she wasn't gonna she wasn't gonna go anywhere anytime soon you know i thought that she was always gonna be there you know wow okay one last question i ask everybody and Again, you have the right to say yes or no, you know, or you don't have to answer it. Uh, do you believe in any high power? Do you believe in God or any high power, anything? Yes, I do. I believe. I'm a new believer in God, actually. Amen. Are you like Christian? Are you believing in I'm Jesus? Christian, yes. Amen to that. Yeah. Can I get a high five? Amazing. Yeah. So, what would you say to people? Since you're a new believer, what would you say to the people that are struggling right now, trying to find God, trying to find a religion? What would you say to them? It's, um... To just believe, believe in yourself, and the belief is, 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 you know, just believe in yourself, really. Like, you know, that's first how believe I got, in yourself. Yeah, and, to, to and read the get, Bible, right? Yeah, to, to try to get closer to God, you know. Try to get. So how do? How can they get closer to God? How did you get closer to God? Did you get to go to a church or did no, you? No, I, 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 um, there's people that come out to the to to our homeless camp. Okay. And um, it's they a, preach. It's a church, yeah. Oh, okay. And they, they, they they asked me if I wanted to give my life to, to God, and I was like, sure, <laughs> you know. And then I started really thinking about it. It made me feel good, you know. Wow. So it does feel good. It does. It really does. And now, awesome. and then, ever since then, I've been trying to do, you know, like walk by faith. I don't really... Awesome. All right. So let me come to the point. I'm a YouTuber. You know, this was a social experiment. Mm -hmm. Since you decided to deny the phone. Um, I, the, the food that you chose is not a regular food so I want you to hold the box open it and I want you to see what's in there oh my god yeah see what's 
since you decided to do that, you know, I wanted to do that for you. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I mean, I don't know what I, I would do. You have no idea. <laughs> you don't know what this means. <laughs> of course. Thank you. I mean, you're, you're a believer and, you know, you, you did that, so I want to go ahead and do that for you. Wow. Oh, wow. My. wow. All right. So God bless you. Thank you.